Bad habits die hard. Once you become accustomed to something, it is hard to break out of it. Take for example Japan's obsession with the US and its over-reliance on the US military. But all bets are off when you have a Joe Biden like president at the helm in the USA. Joe Biden represents everything that shows the US in a bad light. But Japan has now realized that bad habits bite hard too. Over-reliance on the US can prove to be fatal for Japan. So Japan is now bidding adieu to its bad habit of getting too cozy with the US. Japan is instead partnering with the nations like Australia and India to counter China's burgeoning rise. Hi and welcome. This is TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Isha and in this video I will tell you how Japan and Australia are coming together to cancel Biden's veto on China. Let's begin. The US and Japan are breaking up. No prizes for guessing the reason though. Japan has had enough of the USA's flip-flops in the Indo-Pacific. So Japan is now prioritizing kangaroos ahead of Uncle Sam. Australia and Japan on Thursday signed a major security pact. The idea is to get a better partner than the USA in battling China's coercion and intimidation. After the pact, the defense forces of the two countries will cooperate with each other. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said the new pact will contribute to a secure and stable Indo-Pacific. You know what? Even China admits that the Australian-Japanese partnership is the deadliest of all in the Indo-Pacific. China on Wednesday cried that this partnership should not harm any third-party interests. It's obvious for China to be worried and anxious. After all, there's no Joe Biden to dilute their agenda with issues like climate change and the Russian threat. Mind the fact that Japan and Australia have now signed the Reciprocal Access Agreement, which means that the defense forces of the two nations now could be deployed on each other's territories. For China, this is nothing less than a disaster. The RAA Pact paves the way for Australia and Japan to jointly confront any possible Chinese invasion of Taiwan. To put things into perspective, the distance between China and Australia is more than 9,000 kilometers. But now, Australian troops could be deployed on Japanese islands located as near as just 2,000 kilometers away from China. Australian threat for China has grown many folds after the signing of this pact. And that's how Japan is getting over its over-reliance on the US military. As of now, the commanding power lies with the US. Japan needs the US logistical support and intelligence backing to carry out any military activity even on its way. Japan wants to cancel this veto power now. That's because the US is no longer perceived as a reliable partner by the Japanese now. Allies are supposed to support you in times of crisis, but Joe Biden is doing the exact opposite in Japan. Consider this. Can you even imagine that the Joe Biden administration is considering withdrawing a major chunk of its strategic assets and troops currently deployed in Japan's Okinawa prefecture? According to a report by Nikkei Asia, the US is keen to deploy its Indo-Pacific military presence far and wide rather than keep it concentrated at a handful of bases as it seeks to protect itself from China's advanced missile capabilities. This is especially bad news for countries like Japan where the US has a large concentrated mass of troops. This will most definitely lead to a vacuum of allied forces for Tokyo. This will make Japan more vulnerable and exposed to China's aggression. But Japan is now striving to fill this void by strengthening its security ties with Australia. Japan is seemingly preparing for a war with China over Taiwan. It is developing its hypersonic weapons. Japan is also considering deploying rail guns to counter the hypersonic missile threat from Beijing. Japan has already shown its intentions to do away its pacifist constitution. And now, by signing a major defense pact with Australia, Japan has finally blown the trumpet of war against China. 